Cummings. I am a 10-year-old magician and ventriloquist. I will perform for you in a couple minutes, but first I have a question. By round of applause, how many of you were once 10 years old? When you were younger, you probably had dreams. I hope a lot of you here today and at home watching achieve those dreams. I also hope you still have dreams because it's never too late to make them come true. One of the things magic has taught me is it's fun to, the, to do the impossible. I've been performing magic for the past three years. Now, that might not seem like a long time to you, but if you think about it, that's a third of my life. <laughs> when I was little, I was always performing. I've been in many plays, and I've had concerts and dance recitals for my mom in our living room. What I didn't realize at the time was this is playing a huge role in helping me become who I am today. When I was seven years old, my mom took me to my first magic show, and let me tell you, I was hooked. I was so amazed by all the tricks I saw, I just had to figure out how they were being done. We found out that there's a small town about an hour away from my house named Colon, Michigan, which is famously known for being the magic capital of the world. I was lucky enough to attend a small magic camp there where I saw a super cool magic trick performed. A few weeks later, I was so excited when the mom said she'd buy that same trick for me. I brought that trick here with me today. Would you like to see it? Inside of this tube, I have three balls. And each ball represents a princess. The red ball represents Ariel from her red hair. The yellow ball represents Belle from her yellow dress. And the green ball represents Tiana from her green dress. One night there was a ball and all of the princesses were invited to dance with the prince. So they all rushed to the palace. The first one to get there was Tiana, so she got in line first. The second person to get there was Belle, so she got in line second. And the third person to get there was Ariel, so she got in line third. But Ariel wanted to dance with the prince first so badly, she cut to the front of the line. <laughs> this made the other princesses mad, so they told the security guard. The security guard was angry, but he just gave Ariel a warning and sent her to the back of the line. So, Tiana's in line first, Belle is in line second, and Ariel is supposed to be in line third. But Ariel was so desperate to dance with the prince first, she cut to the front of the line again. <laughs> this time, when the princesses told the security guard, what he did is he took Ariel by the hand, marched her down to the dungeon, locked her in a cell, and then marched back to see how the other princesses were. And Tiana and Belle were doing great. So then he marched back down to check on Ariel. And that's when he realized she had disappeared. Ariel had escaped the dungeon. So then he marched back up to see if the other princesses had seen Ariel. And that's when Tiana and Belle both shouted, she cut to the front of the line. <laughs> Thank you. Since I got that trick, I've learned more advanced magic, but I wanted to perform that trick for you today because that trick is special to me. It was my first real trick. One night, my mom and I were watching America's Got Talent, and we saw ventriloquist Darcy Lynn perform. I told my mom, I want to try that. A few months later, I got my first puppet, and I taught myself ventriloquism. When following your dreams, it's important to try new things. As I learned more magic and ventriloquism, my performing career started to take off. When I was eight years old, I entered the talent competition at the 82nd annual Abbott's Magic Get Together. Most of the contestants I was competing against were adults, so I was really excited when I won first place. <laughs> Since then, I've been a special guest at many magic shows, have performed at private events, and have been asked to perform and speak at schools to encourage other kids to follow their dreams. I've also been on one of Penn & Teller's TV specials.
This year I turned 10, and ever since I reached the big 1-0, I've had even more cool opportunities come my way. After today, I can say that I've shared this stage with many awesome speakers, and I've had my own TED Talk. <laughs> Is it okay if I share another one of my dreams with you? Ever since I started ventriloquism, I always wanted a professional puppet. And when I won the Abbott's contest, I was able to use the prize money to buy myself a professional puppet. Everybody, meet Penelope. Penelope the skunk. Hi, everyone! <laughs> Hi! It is skunk-tastic to be here! Performing is something I've always done, but it hasn't always been easy. Sometimes kids have made fun of me for doing ventriloquism. Say what? That stinks. I thought about telling them to talk to the hand, um, but then I decided to keep my mouth shut because they're the real dummies. <laughs> yeah, and if they ever try to make fun of you for doing magic, just make them disappear. <laughs> You're right, Penelope, but sometimes kids say really mean things that hurt my feelings and make me feel like quitting. But then I think, why should I let other people's opinions affect me? Why quit something you love just because they don't like it? Exactly. It's okay to stand out and be unique. The world would be a pretty boring place if everybody was the same. I hope this is a lesson everyone can learn. It doesn't matter what other people think. If it's something you enjoy, do it. Be creative and follow your dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.